What's up guys and welcome back to Stranded Deep. Today is going to be a very exciting day. I think we're going to be getting off the island for the first time. So I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't really have a plan. I just want to go exploring. I want to see what else is out there. It's a big world out there. You guys know last couple of episodes we kind of set up our home base. Everything's looking good. Um, you know we've, we've got water. We've got food. We've got shelter. We've got everything we need. So it's, it's time to get out there. Let's see what we can do. So it is currently 9.03 in the morning i'm think i'm trying to think of of the best way to do this you guys can see we we do have islands all over the place we've got one over there we've got one over there we've got one over there that actually appears to be the closest and then we've got one over here uh, the uv is high right now i feel like it might not be the best idea to to travel during the day i'm thinking maybe we want to travel at night get there do some exploring during the day and then come back, I guess, during the day. We wouldn't really be able to stay there overnight. Technically, eventually, what we could do, and this may even be smart to do off the rip, we could go, we could have different bases at different places. Like you guys know, we've got our, our water sill, we've got our meat smoker and campfire, and we've got our shelter here. We've got a, a, a plethora of food and stuff that we've caught that um, you know we can kind of sustain ourselves off of, we might be able to do the same thing on other islands and then be able to hop in between islands whenever we want. I don't know, That that's a tough one. I definitely don't think it's a good idea to go over there right in the middle of the day. So I, I think we're gonna wait here. I think we may, we may just kind of like have a normal day. I'm just gonna play through the day, do some fishing and whatever else. We've gotta see, where do we put our fishing trap? That's gonna be important. I kind of wanna see if that thing's working. It's over here, do we have anything in there? Um, not really seeing anything in there. I'm also not sure how the fishing traps work, so I'm not too worried about that. We don't really have anything else better to do right now. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to catch some extra food and stuff. We're going to have a normal day. We're going to get to bed early. We're going to wake up early the next morning, and we're going to start paddling at like 2 a.m. or something like that. That way we can, uh, we can get there with the, the cover of night and not be stuck out in the, the, you know, broad daylight the entire time. So it's uh, it's almost noon, and I've been looking at this fishing trap. I I think this is a big fish trap. I'm gonna dismantle it. I think what you're supposed to do is drop this in deeper water, and I think you maybe bait it with sardines. Oh, there's a there's a shark right there. Is he coming at us? He kind of looks like he might be coming at us. I'm gonna set it there. He's a smaller shark, but I'm gonna set it there. I'm gonna grab a fishing spear. I wanna make sure that there's no sharks coming our way. Let's um let's grab a couple sardines because these would make good bait for bigger fish. And we also have to remember where this trap is. So it's, shoot. It's between the two broken ships with the island in the background, I guess. That shark is kind of close, dude. I don't know how to do this, dude. I see some sea snakes over there. I see some sharks. I'm going to dismantle this. We're going to take it back up. I got to figure out how to use this before we do anything stupid. You know what I mean? So I'm just, I'm, I'm going to take this back up. We're going to drag it on the beach and we're not going to worry about this anymore. Just going to bring old faithful fish trap over here. This is something that we are going to worry about at a different time on a different day. Let's just go ahead and leave them there. Looks good. Uh, we've got our, our sardine stockpile here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and skin two of these bad boys. We're going to get the fire back started uh, to make sure that we have some, some food. We want to leave on a full stomach and full belly of water. And then we also want to make sure that we have a little bit extra, I would think. I don't know how much extra we need. I have no clue like how intense it is to be able to get to these islands. But we definitely want to make sure we have at least like a little bit of food stockpiled. So we're good to go. Looks like our campfire is actually gonna, it's gonna kind of fade out here, not too long from now. So we're gonna have to get some more wood. Do we have, we've got wood there. We don't really have any wood. So I'm gonna cut down the little trees that don't really have meaning to us. These guys don't really do anything for us. That gives us two sticks. So I guess we can pick these up, drop them over here, and we will be able to refill the, the campfire a little bit. Okay, just kind of waiting, dude. We've got sunstroke right now. want to stay out of the sun. Got to keep our water up. Got to keep our food up. Definitely want to make sure we get to bed early. I'm thinking if we have like an eight hour of sleep, probably want to go to bed around like, I'm going to say 8 p.m. If we go to bed at 8, wake up at 4. I'm not sure how long he actually sleeps. I'm guessing around eight hours. That'd be good. So we've got four hours until we want to hit the sack. I want to come over here and check on the raft, make sure that we're all good to go. Looks like, I mean, we've got some some 
plants in it, but it looks like we're good. Oh, we've got storage in here. That's good. Oh, rations, food and water rations, compass, and then a ba oh, a compass. Let me grab that. That's gonna be good to have. Still have our paddle and stuff on there. Okay, so we, I, I didn't know there was a compass in this game, to be honest, dude, let's go! Let's pick the island we're going to, because at nighttime, we aren't gonna be able to see much. So we wanna make sure, make sure we're going to the right one. I feel like this one's the one. We're gonna wanna go straight southwest from this point. I honestly feel like we should drag the raft over there so we know to go straight southwest. I'm really hoping we don't put a, a hole in this thing. Puncturing a hole in it would be a really bad idea. Probably don't really want to drag it over the rocks. Just drag him a raft. Okay, don't tip over. When we get in the raft, we're gonna to want to go straight southwest and we're gonna be able to hit that island. Yeah, dude, we destroyed, destroyed our food and water being out there in the sun like that. That, dude, that really sucks. So I'm gonna drink all those. We're gonna pick up these meats. We're gonna to have to cut some new meats. We're gonna be in trouble, dude. Managing this stuff is, is so, we need to get to the point where we're self-sustaining and we just aren't quite there yet. You guys know we kind of worked towards it yesterday, but we're just not, we're not there. So we're gonna eat the good meat, put the uncooked meat on the campfire and then sit on the shade. Um, the fire just went out. Are you serious right now? All right, we're gonna pick up some sticks and then we're gonna have to relight it. Are you, <laughs> dude, and we're having to sit in the sun to be able to do this. Ah, a yucca plane is back available. Oh my gosh, that's gonna save our life. Oh, dude, this guy is, is good to go. What's up, man? I need every piece of fiber you can give me. Does that drop five or six? I think it's five, but it might be, s oh, it's six. It fell back into the bush. Oh man, all right, we're gonna have to remember that for the future. Okay, so we've got this. Let's grab our fibrous leaves, add it there so we're still making water. And then, like I said, just kinda, kinda hang out here in the shade. I'm looking at this island. I don't know that there's really a ton over there, man. It doesn't look very inviting. It looks like it's got some trees, which I guess we can, you know, chop down some trees, get some wood, get some palm fronds and whatever else to be able to take care of our fiber issues. Honestly, that one looks better. That's okay though. We're gonna eventually end up going to all of these things. We gotta start somewhere. It's 1710. I don't know if we're really gonna get a better time than this. Let's pick up a couple of meats. And then let's skin a couple more. Let's get these on the, the on the Barbie, on the fire. And then we're gonna wake up in the morning, probably cook a couple more so we have a couple extra. Or do you guys think we can make it all the way there without doing that? I'm not sure. We're gonna eat these two. We're gonna put these other two on the fire. Oh my, dude, I hate that. That is honestly kind of a bad setup of this game. It makes it way too hard to put meat on the fire because the extinguish option is like literally, it just depends on where you're pointing and it doesn't really make sense. So we're gonna get this thing back started. See, extinguish, 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 attach, boom. That's where you need to put it, that's that's weird. We've got those on there, we've got water to drink. Put another one there. How are we looking? Could probably drink another water to be honest. I, I think we're ready. I, I think we wanna take a nap. Oh, nope, we actually don't want to yet, just kidding. We wanna, we wanna grab this meat and put the fire out before we take a nap. The island is fading away. It's a good thing we've got our compass, dude. That thing is gonna save us straight southwest. We cannot forget that. And then when we wanna come back, we wanna go northeast. We've gotta remember that. It's um, 6.21 p.m. I mean, we're probably gonna end up going to bed a little bit early, but I don't, I don't think that ever hurt anyone, especially before a big journey the next morning. So, whew, I'm nervous. I'm hoping this works out, but I'm nervous. So we went to bed at 7.08 p.m. and we woke up at 4.12. So it looks like we sleep for around nine hours. I mean, that's that's a solid night's sleep, but we've got to get on our, uh, on our game here. So I'm going to pick up our kindling and let's get this thing lit. Um, we're going to want to eat the two pieces of meat that we have in our, our inventory currently, and then we're probably going to want to uh, cook two more just to kind of have it in our back pocket as we head over there, make sure we don't get hungry throughout the day. All right, looks good to me, so let's grab our knife. We're going to go ahead and skin two of these things. we got to get, get on it, dude. It, it's, you know, every hour I think is like a minute or maybe two minutes in this game, so it goes pretty quick. You definitely, uh, you definitely can't waste any time. So we're going to eat our two cooked meats. We're gonna grab the other ones and we're gonna attach it to the campfire, just like that. Uh, how are we looking? We do need a little bit of water, so I'm gonna drink each of these waters. Put a couple more fibers on there. If we can get one more water and then two more meats, I think we're gonna be good to go. Uh, you can actually see the island off in the distance. I was wondering about that. We've got the moonlight up there. 
The sun is gonna start uh, coming up on the other side here pretty soon, but um, let's make sure we're all good to go in terms of our inventory. We do not want to bring anything that we aren't actually going to use. Like, I don't think we're going to go fishing over there. An axe, a knife, a spear. I don't think we're going to need the spear, but we'll we'll keep it just in case, I guess. Uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm probably, I'm going to drop it. I, I don't think we're going to need it. Hopefully there's no like wild animals or anything. I'm not really sure to be honest, but uh, I just, I want as much inventory space as possible when we head that way. We also have a little bit on the raft as well. So I'm excited, dude. It's that moment where like, you know, you're going on a road trip or something. You wake up early or you're like going on a fun trip. You're going to the airport early and you're like tired, but you're like really excited about where you're going. That's um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. All right, so we got a little bit more water. Our water is up to full. Uh, definitely gonna have to bring back some, some fibers. And uh, we are just waiting for this meat to finish. Gonna check, make sure we have no yucca plants ready to pick up or anything. I think we're good. Aren't there three yucca plants on this island? I know there's one there and then one over in the corner. I thought there was another one, but I don't, I don't seem to, oh, it's right here. Right here next to our stuff, yeah. Are we almost done yet? Cook small meat, nice, looks good. We're gonna extinguish our fire. Let's go ahead and let's, let's save. And we gotta go. We gotta skedaddle, here we go, fellas. The sun's already coming up. What time is sunrise, dude? Five, uh, it's six o'clock already. So we're gonna we're gonna drag this thing out into the water. Let's get inside it. Let's uh, pick up the paddle. We're gonna operate this bad boy. And here we go. We gotta get him turned around. Come on, man. Oh, dude, we had to leave earlier. Send it, Sally. Whatever. It's too late now. Oh my goodness. This thing is kind of hard to pa Oh, there's a shark right there. <laughs> no, thank you. I hope they don't get hungry because this is a, uh, a fabric raft. I don't think it's really going to stand up to a shark chomp, but we'll, we'll see. Hopefully we'll be okay here. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm.